participate in an on-site field study with the Modular Prosthetic Limb, MPL, Les Ba and his girlfriend were excited about the possibilities. Accompanying them is Dr. Albert Chi, who, as part of the interdisciplinary team from the Johns Hopkins Hospital, I, the pain I, I'd never had, I don't even remember the original being that much. Let's go ahead and see what we have. On this day, Les is being fitted for his socket which is sort of a body brace that makes the neural connections with the re-innervated nerves, as well as supports the prosthetic limbs. And this old school is working out so much better than the modern. <laughs> While the socket got its finishing touches, the team took the next step and had less work with the virtual reality system that mimics the actual prosthetic arms. Relax. Let's do some elbow, elbow up. Good. Relax. A couple days later, the socket was back and the arms were attached. Les and the team were about to make history. Once the training sessions were complete and they released me and let me be the computer, basically, to control that arm, I just go into a whole different world. I think we're just getting started at this point. It's like the early days of the internet. There's just a tremendous amount of potential ahead of us and, and we he has access to all of the different degrees of motion, shoulder, elbow, wrist, hand, but he still needs to select which one he wants to use. So he needs to position the shoulder, then the elbow, then the wrist, then the hand separately and rest in between. Maybe I'll be able to, for once, be able to put change in a pop machine and get the pop out of it. Simple things like that that most people never think of. All of us on this RP2009 team, regardless of the type of patient we're fitting, are committed to making every effort to see that this ultimately reaches the end user in a way that they can actually utilize it. That's awesome. <laughs> that will assist this DARPA developed technology in helping wounded warriors and others to regain the 27 degrees of freedom possessed by the human arm.